going back to Sacramento, got into some stuff, and then going back to LA, I would go back and forth. So I would do porn, and then I would sometimes go to Sacramento and do other little stuff. And um, some guys in the porn industry, one of the guys in the porn industry I knew was like, hit me up. He's like, hey, man, um, I got a lick. You know, would you be down? And a he's lick. Like, <laughs> he said, I know that's you're that's a gangster. That's, that's a gangster term for a robbery. For a robbery, yeah. It got a lick. And I knew I shouldn't have, you know, something in my gut told me not to. But anyways, I went against my better judgment. These guys were kind of squares. And I ended up uh, getting involved with a robbery. And, um, yeah, man, it, it was basically getaway car. We, uh, you know, planned it out, man. And, dude, it was like a lot of signs in there. And I tell people all the time, a lot of signs that if you pay attention to it, it tell you it's no good. And one of the signs, the first sign was the one of the days when the guys went to go look at the bank, the driver and the other guy I robbed the bank with got into an argument about chocolate. The guy wanted to pull over at the gas station because he needed chocolate. The driver's like, man, we're not pulling over because we, we don't want to be seen in the area before the bank robbery. And they got to arguing about chocolate. And I'm looking at these two dudes like in a, it's like reservoir dogs. I'm like, dude, chocolate, what the hell? Both of y'all shut the hell up. I'm like, yeah. what are you talking about? So that was the first sign. These guys, it's like, I mean, come on, man. It's Laurel and Hardy. So after that, I'm like, damn, man. But I still kind of, you know, I shook it off. And then what's crazy, on the morning of the robbery, my mom called me. She never called me this early. My mom called me and asked me, what am I doing? And I'm sitting there waiting for these guys to pick me up. And I got, like, this goddamn fatigue stuff on. And I got all this stuff. And I'm ready, you know getting ready to go hit traffic to go fucking do this robbery. And I'm like thinking, damn, man, why my mom called me this early? And that was another sign. And dude, uh, you know, that day, man, it was, it was the, the worst day of my life, bro. It's like, you know, raining, you know, the quiet ride to the bank, you know, uh, the guns in the car and, you know, you pull up to the bank and we're just, you're sitting there and, um, <clears throat> Were you nervous? Hell yeah, man. My, you know, chest, my heart is beating out of my chest. But then I just, I just said, F it, man. I jumped off the car, pulled the mask down and ran up in there, you know, and the dude followed me. And um, it's like slow mo. Everything was slow motion. You see everything like, you know, in the movie, they try to make it seem glam. Man, that shit is, dude, it's like you're looking around. It's like time stops. And you're thinking like, you know, what am I do? You're what am I doing? But I'm I'm already in it. It's like a movie. You're playing it out. You're like you don't even know how it's gonna play out. You don't know if a guy in there is you know a cop and he's un you know um and he and he's in and he's in civilian clothing. You don't know if they're gonna shoot. You don't know what's going on. And you're just playing it out. And it's like, dude, it's it just was a it's a crazy experience, man. And it's nothing I would I'm bragging about or trying to say, hey, man, it's because rappers make it seem like it's glorious. Dude, it was it was crazy, man. It went up in there and and the dude is, you know, the, my the, the guy who was my partner jumped over the counter. He's, you know, trying to get him to give him the money and he's panicking. And then he he hit somebody. And I look out the window in the corner of my eye. I see like, you know, some sheriffs in a in a raincoat and a shotgun. I'm like, dude, this is a wrap. And I'm like telling him to hurry up. And it's like he's in there way too long. We run out. It's one of those banks where it had the drive through. You go around, and he ran out the other side, and we pull out. And as soon as we pull on the street, a cop happened to be behind us, and he bumps us from behind. The and cop bumped in, you guys? Cop bumped us, right? Like, the timing was impeccable. He, we're leaving, pulling out into the street, and he bumps us. And we look in the rear view, and it's like he knows it's us. And we, we're we in a four-door uh, Escort, Ford Escort. And you know, we, it's a speedy car, the S. Oh my god, man. We pull out <laughs> and oh. we, we go down the street and basically pull into this little parking lot and there's nowhere to go. And he like he he gets off the car and he draws down on us. And I'm like, oh my god, this shit is over already, man. This is crazy. And he's like, get out the car, get out the car. And and, and the, my the driver guns it. He guns it because we have another getaway car, Lincoln Navigator in this little like industrial area, like a little little uh, shopping area. So we pull in there, dish the car, dish the clothes, get into the navigator, and there's cops everywhere now. There's probably 30, 40, 50 cops. 
we pull out in the navigator and as we pull out, we see all the cops and they look at us, three black guys, they look at us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, like, what the hell are you doing over here? You didn't fucking and, lay down in there, man? Come on. Hey, dude, I'm, but we're, look, we're leaning back and I mean, it's obvious like they got the area, they got oh. a, a, a circumference around the area. So from there is high speed chase. And I mean, we're in a navigator, dude, on the freeway, 101, it's raining. Uh, helicopter, cop trail, uh, eventually they throw a spike strip. They run over the spike strip. We roll on rims for I don't know how long. And then uh, the car stops. As soon as the navigator stops, I jump off the car like, like um, Usain Bolt. I jump over the freeway divider, run across four lanes of traffic. I'm trying to find somewhere to go hide. They sent a canine unit. The canine, I guess, comes in there and secures the other two guys. And they catch me on like the boardwalk by the beach and, you know, five cops arrest me. And I'm on the, the last thing I see was the, the ocean and just the sun, um, the sunrise. And I'm looking like this is the last time I'm going to see this in a long time. 